The Beijing Scientific and Educational Film Studio. The history of Chinese acrobatics dates back 2,500 years. From the time of the earliest dynasties, there has been a tradition of innovation, with new and ever more daring acts constantly being developed. But certain things have remained unchanged from those early days. The unaffected style of performing, the pure skill of the artists, and the joy which the acrobats bring to their performances. Let us watch China's top female acrobats. Today, our female stars will be presenting for you the fruits of their years of training. They will be displaying for you the grace and skill, the strength and beauty that is the historical legacy of their art. Wire dancing, performed by Guo Qing Li and Zhao Fu Zhong. Wire dancing has been renowned throughout history for its difficulty and danger, and for the skill required to master it. The performer must have perfectly coordinated balance of body and feet. Our two artists here, Guo Qing Li and Zhao Fu Zhong, started wire walking when they were only 10 years old. When watching their seemingly effortless performance, it's hard to imagine all that they had to go through to finally achieve mastery of this eight millimeter wide stage. But that very ease is the proof of the years of dedication and perseverance that went into their training.
In a number of ancient books, some over 2,000 years old, we can find references to this next act, meeting an old friend walking down the road. Now watch this, Zhao Fu Zhong will make use of the spring of the wire to perform a series of 180 degree sitting turns. Next, it's Guo Qing Li's turn. Watch carefully now as young Guo performs one of the most difficult of all feats on the wire, an upright reverse flip. Well done, beautiful landing. Don't forget, this wire is only eight millimeters thick. And now a series of reverse flips. does call for the utmost in both skill and daring. We've just watched Zhao Fu Zhong and Guo Qing Li executing some tremendous feats on the wire. The beauty of acrobatics lies in the use of the human body to express the performer's skill. Such total body control testifies to the years of hard work, courage and unswerving commitment that these girls display. Rope skills performed by Chen Xiu Ying and Wen Xiang. How is it possible for a rope to fly? Well, it's the skill of the performer's wrist which gives it life. Throughout the performance, the artiste must regulate exactly the force, speed, an angle of spin of the rope. Our two artists have developed this traditional skill to give an image of natural, uninhibited grace. Now she's going to do a mid-air cartwheel with her lasso. Great!
Look at the smoothness, the proficiency that these girls control the rope with. Now we have a series of backward rolls with the lasso. And now, finally, the giant lasso. Watch as the lasso gets bigger and bigger. Calisthenics, performed by Jin Xiaoping and Hu Jianfang. In this act, the performers have taken the beauty of ancient dance and combined it with traditional principles of jujitsu to produce powerful movement with a mood of harmonious tranquility. These movements, depicted nearly 2,000 years ago in the Buddhist cave paintings of northwest China, are today brought to life before your eyes by Jin Xiaoping and Hu Jianfang. Watching these girls, supple, delicate, and light as swallows, 
we find ourselves carried away into a wonderland of mystery and beauty. Next, we have Wang Hong to give an exhibition of umbrella and carpet juggling with her feet. This performance won the gold medal at the 1982 International Acrobatics for Tomorrow competition in France. Foot juggling performed by Wang Hong. a ballet dancer. In fact, foot juggling does have one thing in common with ballet, the skill of the toes. In foot juggling though, the toes are pointed upwards to control the balance of the umbrella. In her performance, Wang Hong transforms her umbrella into a beautiful butterfly resting on a flower before soaring up into the sky again. attempt two things at once, but Wang Hong is obviously able to do it, and pull it off. Wang Hong is from the north of China. She says that her most beautiful memories are of the snowflakes falling back home, and the childhood games she used to play with her friends. One of the games she enjoyed playing most was Diabolo. This game played with a piece of bamboo with holes carved into it to produce a delightful humming as the top spins is very popular in winter amongst Chinese children. Today's artists from the Guangzhou Jianshi Acrobatic Troupe 
have taken the spinning die below and used it to create a colourful, singing display of artistry and delight. The old game of spinning the die below is one which many Chinese children are able to play. But to do it with this flair is far from easy. In fact, these girls have practiced for 10 years to put together this charming, flowing and highly original act. Mei is the third generation of her family to take up this art. Her mother and her grandmother were both famous performers. Advisors Xia Juhua and A Liang, screenwriter and director Sun Xingyuan, photography Sun Xingyuan and Zhang Hai Zhao. English translation and narration, Nick Rutledge. 